spring has finally arrived in Sweden, and since the white pollen is still falling from the sky and the grill is covered with it, I decided to make a soup. So hold on to your carrots and get ready for some spicy chicken soup. The benefit of not being a Michelin star restaurant is that you don't have to be so even with all of your cuts. Take this onion for example. At home, it's enough to slice it at an angle towards the center and then dice it into cubes. While cooking at home, you don't have to peel all single layers one by one and then dice it to the same size. There's a time and place for it of course, but in chicken soup, nah, <laughs> nah. For the carrot, I personally prefer quarters. But round or half moon shaped ones work perfectly fine. Slice them down the middle and then you slice them down the middle again. And then you cut the carrots into smaller pieces. Next up is the garlic. Lightly crush them and slice them down the middle. Then you make a cut alongside the garlic. Don't cut all the way through to the end and then you dice it into smaller cubes. All the ingredients and spices will be listed at the end of the video by the way. You can go there and take a screenshot for later if you wish to save the recipe. With the prep work done, we can now move over to the stove. In a pot, put a healthy amount of olive oil and fry the onion and garlic lightly. Then you can add chicken stock. If you have homemade, that's great. If you have store bought, that's also great. Both of them work really well in this recipe. I added my chicken directly to the soup from the freezer, since that's what I had at home. If you remember the weather outside, I will not go to the store, not at least until summer. Don't worry about the chicken being frozen though, it will boil long enough to be completely cooked through. Then you can swiftly add the carrots and get the soup up to a boil. When the chicken is cooked through, it took me about 20 minutes, Make sure to heat the chicken to at least 72 degrees celsius or 165 degrees fahrenheit. Move the chicken to a cutting board and then use two forks to shred the meat into pulled chicken. When the chicken is the size you prefer, you can add it back into the pot. Now is also a good opportunity to add the peas. For our spices we will use a mix of paprika spice, cayenne pepper and chili flakes, followed by a mix of thyme and basil. Then we taste for salt and pepper, and we add our pasta. Stir to combine and then boil it for as long as your pasta needs. Mine took about 10 minutes. The oil and spices will collect at the top of the soup, so give it a good stir before serving a healthy portion. The ingredients and the amounts are coming up shortly. And if you haven't seen my other soups or stews, I'll link them in the description and on screen as well. Until next time, superheroes!